by the time your high school children come home tonight, they likely will have spent hours on social media and websites. The way they gather news is rapidly changing and it leaves a lot of room for the spread of misinformation. At this time two years ago, we checked in with a high school program teaching the next generation of journalists. And as part of News Literacy Week, WPTV News Channel 5 anchor Mike Trim went to Seminole Ridge High to see how the program's students separate fact from misinformation. Here at the Seminole Ridge TV Production Academy, a lot of work goes into producing a reliable, fact-filled newscast. Three, two, one. Senior Leilani Firetag talks about the challenge of getting things right. A lot more things are becoming available, a lot more information, a lot of false news. Um, and as Seminole Ridge and the TV students in our program, we do steer away from that. We want to be as reliable. It's taught from the top down here. Um, TV production instructor you know. Earl Wright teaches the message to question where news is coming from before Seminole Ridge TV is broadcast here at school and online. To look at the intent of what the writing is um, and to learn really what reputable news sources are. Um, I'm, I'm a big proponent of having worked in local news. I don't feel like local news typically has an agenda. So I'm like, I, I, you trust your local news. They're, they're they're beholden to their community. It's been two years since WPTV visited this same classroom. Since then, an ongoing pandemic. These students know just how much information is out there to digest. I think it's interesting, especially now with COVID and like social media, it's easy to see misinformation being spread. As part of News Literacy Week, I shared with students how our news team makes sure we get the facts right the first time. I'm making sure, do we have both sides of the story? Do we have um, you know, who are we citing for the story? Is it a reputable source? You know, whether it's the Department of Health, whether it's, you know, from the county commission, whether it's something, you know, we wouldn't just quote a social media post without checking our sources with that. And this class also gets a lesson in reaction from their own stories. You'll get the judgment from just everyday people. They, you present statistics, you present facts, and then they start calling you biased and you're like, no, I'm presenting you factual information. This isn't me trying to present an opinion. All part of an experience to become better consumers of news and the next wave of journalists. In Westlake, Mike Trim, WPTV News Channel 5.